just look at this. It's so adorable. I love seeing all of the fresh, beautiful flowers that we have hung up from our garden. We've got our little altar set up and of course the amazing little witch brewing station and our good bird Ramses, or Ramsey I should say, though Ramses would be such a cute nickname. <coughs> Ramsey, do you have something for us? But only if I give you a treat first? Okay, okay. All right, let's see. I will not be bribed. How are we doing on preparations? Let's actually ask him about that because it has been a moment or two since we have been here. So welcome back everyone to Witchy Life Story, one of our cozy season games that I am absolutely adoring. I apologize for the long wait time in between everything, but I can promise you I have definitely learned a life lesson that if anyone offered me a potion just to be able to make everything okay, I would take it right now. So I'm looking forward to being able to help out all the villagers and make this wonderful harvest festival actually happen. So, Ramsey, how are we doing on preparations? Is there anything I've missed? Yeah. I've still got orders to fill? I haven't checked in on everyone yet. Yeah. I know, everything needs to be perfect for the full moon ritual. That's why I asked. All right, all right. So it seems like we do have orders to do. And we do! Oh, this is gonna be so exciting! Hello, Siri. This is my first time writing to a real witch. It's so exciting. Anyway, I'm dealing with a stubborn supplier who won't give me what I need. Do you have a charm to change my circumstances? I still have much to do. Best regards, Mel. Okay, that's adorable. And I feel like a lot of being a witch for these villagers is actually also helping them to think outside the box. Maybe she doesn't really need a charm. Maybe Mel just needs to do a little bit of investigating with some other suppliers. Um, but you know, I'm still gonna go ahead and make her something so we can get the money. All right, so we'll go ahead and accept that. Stubborn supplier. Oh, that's right. I have to see what, what we need. It's changed the circumstances. I must accomplish this task. That's so cool. And hey, it's Jonas. We haven't really had a chance to speak much with him yet. Yo, Siri, my stomach is in knots. I'm so nervous about this whole being in charge thing. How do I tell people what to do? Are they even going to like me? You got a potion for that? Help from Jonas. And this is actually pretty cool because I think he was one of the ones who kind of was a little bit nervous about us being a witch. So we'll have to see how we deal with him. All right, being in charge and then tell people to do would be blue. And then I think like the astrological sign. There we go. And it's Misha. Hey, Siri, you know what I'm working on? You know how I'm working on that art piece for the festival? Well, I'm trying to look into my inner outer self for that spark, if you know what I mean. So what do you say about helping me achieve my artistic greatness with a potion? Oh, I can totally help that. Okay, so star. And then we need to find some sort of plant that has the essence of yellow. Wouldn't it be ironic if the essence of yellow came from, like, a blue plant? I have to really think about that. That's kind of like some of those plants where you cut them open and their color is different when the, than what they looked like on the outside, like potatoes, for instance, or some of the carrots that are like, they look purple, but you cut them open and they're red. Huh. Huh. I wonder if those would be kind of tricky to work with. Oh, and we have two circle things to do. Okay. Well, I think we might actually have enough for all of this, but I need to see the villagers and then, oh, oh, interesting. I wonder if the villagers themselves actually end up having like colors and everything else that matches really well for them. So Nisha wants a potion, a potion for artistic greatness. Okay, got it. Can I keep that? Good, I can keep that. Uh, so we're going to need to use my potion bottles, I think. So this would be a potion bottle. Um, and then we're going to need to select things that have artistic greatness to them. Okay, crafting overview. Yes, the grimoire. Yes, it, plant section. Okay. All right. Okay, good, good, good. So we just need to like look through our grimoire again. Okay, so where's our grimoire again? Right over here. So we need to look for something. Yarrow, so the plants... Oh, see, it's been a little bit since I've I've dived into this, so it's kind of like digging through everything again. There we go. Okay, so chamomile might be a good thing to go ahead and toss in there. So maybe some chamomile, some yarrow, and then some calendula. Do I have enough for all of that? Maybe I should check all the recipes first, but, eh, you know, let's just go ahead and dive in. So let's see, chamomile, and then the yarrow over here, the calendula over here. 
We mix it all together. And an inspiration potion. That's so cute. So we completed hers. I wonder if we should go out and do a little bit more in the garden. Can I harvest anything today? Let's see. Maybe? No, it looks like those guys aren't ready. Okay, it looks like none of my plants are ready to go. Maybe? Okay, I can pick the weeds at least. And then do I need to water everyone? Is that what's going on here? Oh, they look so much better with a little watering. So I guess we do have to go ahead and maintain our garden. And then we'll come back after a little bit. Ooh, that's right, and my compost from gathering up the weeds. Okay, so I have three compost. That's going to be useful if I'm going to need some more of these plants somehow. Okay, so this garden was actually ready to harvest, thank goodness. It looks a little bit woebegone now though. There we go. And then we also needed to collect up all of the weeds scattered about. Oh, oh you guys, I forgot how charming and absolutely peaceful this is. I know that, unfortunately, our young witch Siri seems to think that she's just too good for this kind of work. But if somebody offered me a couple weeks just to disappear into a, an adorable countryside working in a charming garden like this, you can bet that I would absolutely take it. All right, good. So we have plenty of compost now. So I think that's going to let us go ahead and finish up our orders. So let's see. Next up, let's go ahead and make something for Jonas. He needs... Okay, we actually need potions for everyone. Um... So I'll go ahead and make Jonas his potion first. I think I need to go get more potion bottles, but we might need to get a little bit of money before we can do anything more with that. And then let's see. So chamomile will probably help us out again if I still have enough. And then the pea flowers, which are so cute. Let's see, chamomile, pea flower, and geraniums. Oh, I love being able to work with all this. All right, so pea flower, chamomile, and our geraniums. That's this one, right? I'm pretty sure that's right. A potion to tell people what to do. Maybe that's... Oh, hey, a leadership potion! That's so cute, too! <laughs> Why are they all so adorable? And then I'm gonna need more potion bottles, so time to head out. We need to go into the village for a, a bit. Okay, heading out to the village. Ah. Come on, Ramsey. I should check in on my deliveries from yesterday but I already helped them. <sighs> just do it. But my spells are perfect. Isn't that just creating more work? But I didn't give them anything weird. Let's say I didn't give them anything weird. At least too weird. Ow. I love how Ramsey is just like taking us into like task. It's just nice. I suppose I can find the time. I never, I'm never going to get my experiments done. You know, customer service might be important, but I really want to get some of my experiments done, whatever they happen to be. I'm going, I'm going. Okay, so we need to check in on everybody from yesterday too. So, not only do I need to make deliveries today, but I also have to check in on yesterday's deliveries. That full moon ritual better work, or else this is going to be a long two weeks. I really think that this is a good thing. <laughs> I really think we needed to go ahead and we need to get ourselves together a little bit. All right, let's talk to Mel. You walk into Mel's office and see her seated at her desk. She's looking down at a stack of paper on her desk intensely while mumbling about something. She looks swamped, but... Mel, I have your... There we go. I have your inspiration potion. I don't think that's right. Wait, leadership? Oh, <gasps> did I make the wrong potion? Oh heck, oh heck of beans. Hang on, so, <gasps> did I go for pink instead of red? I'm gonna like end up killing someone by accident. I needed more geraniums. Did I put down alliums? But I, I swear that should have worked. Okay, you know what, I'll just come back later. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got the wrong one. Please tell me I made Jonas the right one at least. You arrive at Jonas's house and knock on the door. Hello? No one answers. You put your ear to the door and hear someone rustling inside. Well, if he's not going to answer the door. <laughs> I love the faces she makes. It's so cute. Leave the potion outside. So we're going to go ahead and give him the leadership potion. You go to leave the, leadership, the potion outside when suddenly the door opens. The potion! Quick, get inside. 
Jonas grabs you by the arm and pulls you into his house. That's about the part where I'm gonna bash the motion over his head, thank you very much. Hey! It's trashed with clothes thrown everywhere. Let go of me! Uh, right. Sorry about that. Listen, I need your help. You already have the potion? We'll get you that, but first, I need to know. Does this outfit look leadershipy enough? <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute. He reminds me just a touch of our wonderful, wonderful Jean Jewel from our Sims 4 Green Family Legacy, which is also an exceptionally cozy series. Your next line is, yes, Jonas, you look like a boss. Yes, Jonas, yes, Jonas, yes, Jonas. You look like a boss. Wait, what? Gee, thanks. I really need the confidence boost. How did you... Obviously, I tried on all my shirts then decided on this one. Duh. Okay, I probably am done here. No, I'm talking about... Oh, right. The potion. So, do I just drink it? Hang on. I'm the witch here. That's why I'm asking you about the potion. <sighs> you give up. I give up. Yes, you just drink the potion. And the ball's been properly sterilized and stuff. Yep. Cool, cool. Oh, he's so nervous about it. Jonas starts shifting back and forth. I think I know what's up. There's nothing to be nervous about. Never use magic before, have you? You only might turn into a toad. Oh my gosh. I feel like... It, yeah. The thing is, we are kind of a practitioner of emotions and solutions, and now is not the time to be teasing someone. Never used magic before, have you? I've read about it. Yeah? Where? In magic books, duh. And what magic books might those be? Ugh, it must be really hard just walking face first into what you know is going to be probably quite a bit of, like, bias against, like, who you are and, and these really, like, bigoted assumptions. The ones that people keep on shelves and stuff, obviously. Then you should know perfectly well how to drink a potion. I'll be on my way. No, I mean, totally, sure, but also, can you, like, stay? It's just, you know, my older sister Mel gets that. Whatever it is, Covenpolitan magazine? That's amazing. Now I want to have a sim who writes, like, Covenpolitan <laughs> magazine books. That sounds so cool. Ugh. Oh no, here we go. Mm-hmm. And I've seen what happens when Mel drank that mushroom tea. <laughs> you really don't need to worry about any of that stuff happening with this potion. The spell is completely safe, made by a trained witch and all. If you say so. Here goes nothing then. Jonas chugs the potion, polishing it off in one go. It kind of makes you want to mess with them. But you shouldn't. But you want to. <laughs> okay. In, oh, or impressive, or it's tote time. Let's just say impressive, because we really shouldn't. We're providing something that someone is extending quite a bit of trust to us to do. So I don't, I don't want to tease him about this. Thanks, I've been practicing. With what? Most people just take a sip every morning. I wonder how the effects will change when you drink it all at once. You mean I wasn't supposed to... Why didn't you say anything? Or write something on the label that says sip once per day? You know what? That's actually a good idea. Wait, where's the label on this thing? My first day on the job and I've already screwed up. Oh, I just want to like do a good job at this job, you know? I know everyone thinks I'm just some young punk. And maybe they're not wrong about that. But my boss put me in charge, so I want to make him proud, you know? Actually, I kind of don't. Huh? Making people proud isn't something I'm particularly good at. Right, Nisha mentioned you might be a flunky witch or something. How does Nisha know? But it's not like you want to fail, right? Of course not. So maybe it's sort of the same, but still different. People seem to grow in all sorts of ways. <laughs> Dang it, he actually is very insightful. Some just need different fertilizers. <laughs> Trying really hard to figure out how to take that as a compliment right now. Yeah, different fertilizers than others. Uh, that came out weird. You're a plant person, so I tried to make a plant analogy, but um, that's okay. My beloved husband, Chips, actually makes all sorts of hilarious plant analogies with everything in our life because I love a good garden metaphor. Don't worry. I thought it was cute. I get it. Uh, it wasn't exactly cute, so I'm just going to say I get it. Oh good, words aren't exactly my 40. They're not necessarily mine either. Anyways, I guess I should let you get on with your day? Yeah, um, but about the side effects. 
You'll be fine, but you know where to find me if anything weird happens. Cool, cool. Will do. And good luck on your first day. Yay! Okay, did I get some money? Because <laughs> I am actually desperately in need of a little bit of money right now. Hello, ma'am. I need... Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried she was going to be like, Oh, ha, ha. you need some potion bottles. Too bad for you. They're 200 apiece. Meanwhile, a simple leather journal. Oh, what the heck? Hourglass? A broken locket? A dirty broom? A cute little teapot? Why are these things so expensive? I mean, I know she mentioned that she actually has a bunch of extremely expensive, um, like extremely expensive apparently, uh, uh antiques, but ugh, even for me this is a little bit much, but okay, we're gonna get a bunch of potion bottles just in case. Oh my gosh. Well, at least we managed to get that, but I can't believe how I've actually messed up already on being able to make the right potion. <sighs> I guess the Ramsey may have had a point that I should probably be paying a little bit more attention. All right, so let's see. Let's see if we can at least get these made now. A charm. Oh, that's what I went wrong with. She needed a charm. Oh, silly Siri. Okay, so that means we actually need to go ahead and I... I think this makes the charm. So now that we've got that, then I need to go ahead and pick out the right plants. And I think we just need to use, ooh, okay. So rosemary and then geranium and then calendula. I don't think I made that the first time. So I have no idea what I was on about. Geranium and calendula, there we go. Let's double, triple check that just to be sure. Yep, pretty sure that's everything. And apparently that's going to help Mel deal with the stubborn folks. So, oh, the Overcome Charm! That's adorable! I love how cute these are! I really should, like, maybe have them start showing up in some of our other series, too. Think of how cute it would be if we ended up having something like that for, like, zoo crafting. Alright, so, a potion for greatness. Well, I'm going to make sure, good, that we have the potion bottle before I do anything else. And then let's do some chamomile. And then we also need some yarrow. Oh, I didn't know that you could just go ahead <laughs> and do this. Oh, okay, chamomile, there we go. And then what do we have once it's all done? Artistic greatness? Did I already make that? That's fine, I'm sure this is, <laughs> that's totally fine. I'm sure this is not going to like completely exhaust me. And at least we're learning how to go ahead and whip together some of these adorable spells. This is so cute. Oh, all right. But clearly there's a lot more to do. And to be honest, I'm kind of extremely cute. Oh, oh, I am extremely curious about this because there is actually a lot going on with all of these very special items. So, huh, I think we're going to have to do something about that. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on today's adventures. If you guys could, do please leave a like for these cozy little stories. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.